Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to pop off a cap gun. And today I'm going to be showing you how to pop off the string cap gun. Okay guys? So let's get started here in a second. So I got this kind from the dollar store right down the street from me. And it's a, a one that costs like two, three dollars. And you just basically pull that out with your nail. And then you bend it like that, guys. And you put these little caps in like that, okay? Now you take one and you press it down on the metal things that you see. Where it's the print that goes in there. Then you shut it. That's how you pop it, guys. Wave the smoke out of you so you won't breathe it. And this is an ordinary cap gun that's really loud, guys. So if you ever try to pop it in your home, make sure you do it outside because they'll get a bunch of smoke in here. And your parents will be very mad at you. But I think my parents sometimes let me do it. Ready, guys? Like that. See how loud that was, guys? Yeah. All right. I got another one that we're going to be uh, testing next. But we're going to go ahead and do these whole ball bearings. It literally lights up, guys. It's like it's melting it, guys. So <laughs> that smoke from. You better not. Don't be telling people online about it. Alright guys. Here we go. See? That one didn't really work because it was kind of smashed. But... You see, we got a box of caps here that we're going to be using fully today. We're not going to use all the caps, but it's a little unboxing right here. This one's a different one I'm going to teach you on next video. This one, I haven't played it with it in a long time. It's got plastic around it, and the metal and prints is a little bit different. Now this one I got from Dollar Tree, not the Dollar Store. That don't hardly work. You see that? That don't work, guys. You see what I'm saying? Now this one's not a good one. That's not a good brand, okay? But this one, it'll make you uh be amazed. This is a good brand right here. You want to buy this kind of brand, okay? You want to make sure it's this color too. Not this color, look like a fake. That, that color is a little bit different, guys. Okay? Just look at the prints inside the gun, then, then you can think about it if it is real or not. But we're going to be popping a lot off today. That's how you can tell how strong that mug is. That one didn't have a lot of smoke like that. But we're testing them out today. This one, guys, this is how you can tell. If you see it look like that, don't use it. If you see one look like this, use it. It's a good one. Okay, guys? Look at the colors. This one is fake. This one is real. You can see it's a different type of orange than this kind of orange. That's how you can tell, guys. This is a different type of orange. You see, the trigger's even a little different than that one. That's how you can tell, too. Look at the trigger. Alright, we're done popping those off. 
Alright guys, you see this red thing right here? That's another cap gun, which is right here. It got the string cap gun. Which I think it pops out. Is that the end of it? Yeah, that was the end of it, guys. I think it was ripped before, but these are the used ones, okay? Alright, so, you get a string out, okay? I'm going to show you how to reload it. Check that mug out if you have to. Maybe you can take out the bottom side or something. We haven't used these in a long time. And we don't know where no more is at. So we're not going to use them all today. Okay, guys? We're just going to use that much of it. One more round. And put it over here with the box. So you take this. You put that button back right here. Okay? And you make that go up. And what you do is you want to wrap it around like that. You want to make sure one is coming out of it. You take it somehow and you put it in, in there. Okay guys, you put it on this hook right here. It goes in right here, okay? Alright. Then you pull it tight. Like that. And then you make sure it's right. Somehow you shut it. So that's how you do it, guys, okay? Alright, let's test it now. You can see that's a good one, guys, because it's sparking. Now, the only way you tell it's good if it's sparking like that. Now, sometimes it might not work because some caps are different. It has one darker one, it has one lighter one. Some of them didn't pop off because it was either ruined or it got wet. Make sure no spark gets in your Okay. And you don't want it to start a fire, guys, okay? So you watch that spark, too. Because that can be dangerous, guys. And I think that was the end. Let me pop that back in yours. Yup, that was the end. There you go, guys. That's how you do it. Now, I got these this summer that went past. It's almost spring now, but we could go outside when it's summertime and pop these things off. And there you go, guys. We got three different types of cap guns. This is the good oh, brand. Off in there. This is not of the good brand. This is a good brand. Now the way you tell this is fake, if you see a red tip or orange tip on it, okay? Do not take it off or the police will arrest you. And make sure you don't even have it on you because they, they can even tell if it's a real or a fake gun. And they could believe it's real, even though it's fake. Okay? So do not pull it out on any police. Just give them your weapon, and then you'll be good, okay? And follow the police's rules. If you're arrested, then you just got to go through it, okay? All right, man. Just wanted to show you. We got all these caps to pop them off. 
Okay, guys? Alright, comment down below and, and see more of Cap Guns, and we'll see you later, okay? Okay, bye-bye.